Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Stable Diffusion tutorial where in this one I'm going to show you how to create these kind of dreamlike smooth sequences um, and the way they're made is you take an image, you give it a prompt and it will generate a new image, feed it back in, make a new one and it kind of iterates. So you're using an image on itself uh, with image to image. Uh, before we can do that, I want to uh, have you download a certain script that lets you do this. There is one that comes with it, uh, but I find that this one's way faster and has more features. So type in uh, loopback wave script stable diffusion. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, this is where you can get the script for free. So you go to script, you go to save as, so right click save as, and then you put this in your stable diffusion scripts folder. So it's just a Python file. Yes, it's random letters and numbers. Okay. Once you do that, you'll know that it's working because you'll launch Stable Diffusion and in the script, you're gonna see something called loopback wave version whatever. And this is what's gonna let us do the thing. So I'm gonna start off with a general image that we want to iterate. So Oprah Winfrey from the last tutorial. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Oprah and we're gonna give a prompt. We're gonna say each time generate a woman that's highly detailed, if I can spell that word. And the things we wanna avoid is we don't want this to be cartoony or two dimensional. And when we generate this, uh, we're gonna get an image that kinda looks like this, you know, the way you would expect. So uh, without changing any settings, let's try a generation. Uh, it's gonna take a second to load here, uh, but it's just going to, by the way, I guess this is a slightly cartoonized version of Oprah, but you can see it gives a very similar image with similar composition and stuff like this. Now we want to take this and feed it back in, and we do it over and over and over again. So to do this, in script, go to loopback wave, and you're going to see all these settings, don't worry about it. Uh, basically, uh, the way this works is it lets you iterate, but then converge and iterate and converge. We don't want any of that. So take the max additional denoise and bring it to zero. And the only other thing you need to worry about is how many frames do you want. I'm going to say make 100 frames of this iteration process. Since our max uh, additional denoise is set to zero, uh, we care about our denoising strength. Now, you might think, why don't we bring this very low so each image is very similar to the previous one, which makes sense. The issue is it's kind of deep fries the images over like 20 to 30 images. It gets redder and redder and redder and looks more and more compressed. The way you avoid this is with a bit of a higher value denoise. You can see how low you can go. Once I get to 0.6, it starts deep frying it, okay? Uh, so make sure you're happy with this. So again, set this to zero, 100 frames. And the last thing is you can actually save this out as a video after you do the 100 image sequence thing. Uh, I don't need to save it as a video, but I'm gonna give it a file name of tutorial. And the rest of this does not matter. So let's hit generate and see what happens. So it's gonna start by generating an image, as you can see, but there's still eight minutes left, so it's clearly doing something else. And you can see it's generating another image and another image, and you can see the progress over here. Now there is a, a script that does pretty much this uh, without, with fewer features called loopback, but I find that it's way slower. So something about this is extremely fast. To actually view the sequence, you can hit this folder button. It's gonna open up the file explorer. You go to loopback wave, the tutorial folder, and then you can see all these images that are getting more and more naked for some reason. Uh, you can see all these images are here. And then you just wait for this to make a sequence of 100 images. I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to smooth this out using DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this might be a paid version feature. I saw this on the Corridor Crew uh, video. They recommended this as a uh, tip. So you can see it's pretty smooth, but, you know, it leaves something to be desired. So here's how we smooth it out. Uh, in DaVinci Resolve, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our sequence. Uh, it could be a very short one. Uh, for now, that's what we have. So I'm going to make this a sequence of 15 frames per second. So it plays a bit slowly, so a bit more slowly, so that we have an image of this, or sorry, a second of this video. But you can see it's kind of very crazy. So what you want to do is you want to add a deflicker node. That's Shift A for this prompt, and then deflicker, and set this to fluorescent light. And this is going to smooth it out actually quite a lot. If we add another deflicker node, you can see now it's actually super smooth. Um, and this is what I did for the 100 frame uh, sequence. Uh, so there you go. You use the loopback script and then you use deflickering on DaVinci Resolve. So hopefully you learned something in this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.